Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and today we're going to be talking about calculating your grade in terms of academic self-efficacy. One of the th major things that professors always think that our students absolutely know without a doubt is how to calculate your grade and yet so many students do not. So here's the thing. Your grade calculation is laid out in the syllabus. If it's a syllabus worth anything, it's going to lay out how your grade will be calculated uh, based off of a rubric. And usually those rubrics are either percentage-based, right? So we have percentage-based grades. which is my personal favorite, or it's point-based. Okay, so in terms of percentage-based versus point-based, here's the difference between them. Okay, let's say that percentage-based is this idea that you have, let's say you have six, com or no, not six, <laughs> it's a lot of components of the class. Let's see how many components of the class. Let's say you have maybe four-ish components, right? So online homework, which is something that's a staple in many classes. Let's say that you have, um, of course, some kind of quizzes or, um, you know, preparation practice exams or some kind of preparation for your exams, right? So let's say you have exams, and usually these are called midterm exams or just exams, one of those pieces, and some kind of final exam, some kind of comprehensive final exam. Now my class doesn't have the quizzes, it has muddy points, it has in-class assignments, maybe this quizzes could be what we call ICEs, all right, so in class, um, ICEs are in class exercises. That's what that's really talking about, right? So that could be like clickers or learning catalytics or something along those lines. So let me define that over here. ICE is in class exercises of some type, maybe worksheets, something along those lines. All right, so let's say that this class has these four components. Okay, I'm simplifying it for my class. My class has more components, but this is a simplification. All right, so here's the deal. And my percentage base is gonna be slightly off, I'm sorry. It should be a little bit over. Maybe we'll move it over so that it's a little bit clearer to be able to see. All right, so percentage based means that basically your professor is taking uh, percentages out of 100 so that the final course grade adds up to be 100%. Okay, that's what percentage-based means. So in terms of what you're doing, let's see, I put this in the same moment I did before, percentage-based. Let's say that online homework is worth 20%. Let's say quit. Let's say exams are worth forty to fifty percent. Let me maybe, maybe make this forty-five percent. Let's make the final exam twenty-five percent. Right. So that's a grand total of seventy percent of the class is exams. This is twenty percent, and let's say that quizzes then have to be ten percent. Right. So if I'm adding correctly, that should be. If you add all of these together, it should be a hundred percent in the end. Okay. So that is very interesting, very, not, not quite my course, but you know, gives the sense. Okay, point-based just means that they're assigning a total number of points to that. And often mathematicians do this because they're going to count each of the quizzes as like 10 points. You have 10 quizzes, that counts for 100 points, right? And maybe they grade replace one or two. Um, the online homework maybe is 200 points because each of those counts some amount of moments. Um, you have exams, which are 450 points, and let's say the final exam is worth 300 points, just to make these a little different. 
Okay, so what's happening here? Point-based is basically the exact same idea as percentage-based in many ways, okay? I tend to do percentage-based because that gives me flexibility for dropping the lowest scores. That's why I do that, okay? Um, some people would argue with me that point-based, you can still drop the lowest scores. I'm just saying that's kind of where I tend to be percentage-based. Okay, so what this means, this adds up, first off, you gotta add it all up, right? So if it's percentage-based, then it should add up to be 100% because your final score should be taken out of 100%. And if I'm right, 45 plus 25 should be 70, plus 10 is 80, plus 20 is 100%. Here, you actually have to add up what the total number of points is. So 200 plus 100 is 300, 300 plus 300 is 600, and plus 450 is 1050. So you have to figure out what the total number of points in that class looks like. Okay. Then, based off of what your score is, often when we're talking about final course grades, we're talking about averages here. So we're talking about the average of the online homework, particularly in percentage based. In percentage based, we're talking about taking an average and then multiplying it by a percent. So this is the average, and then the final exam is whatever the score is, okay? When we take an average, remember an average or a mean, those are the same things, means, let's say we were taking the average of the exams, for instance, here. If you have three exams, here's your exam for, score one, exam score two, exam scores three, you add those all together and divide by the total number of ex exams. If you drop the lowest one, then maybe if I was a person who w had three exams, which I don't usually, but if I had three exams and I dropped the lowest one, and you dropped out E2, then you've suddenly cut down your total number to something different, right? So you drop the lowest score, what that means is now, if, e two, if the exam two score was the, the smallest number, then E1 plus E3 would be added together and you would divide by the two scores that you have, right? That's what it averages, okay? So when you're talking about, and that's what an average of with dropping the lowest score means. So when you're talking about a percentage-based class, what am I gonna do with this average once I have it? Here's the idea. All right, I'm gonna erase some of this. I'm gonna keep this chart more or less up here so that you guys can get a sense at all times what we're talking about. All right, with the percentage-based class, here's what we're doing. Literally, when I say online homework, the average of the online homework is 20%, then you're gonna take whatever that online homework average was, homework average, assuming it's out of 100%, so if you got 100% on all of your scores in the homework, then you would have 100% average. Okay, if you had four online homework moments and you had 100% and 80% and then 100% and 80%, then your average would be 90% because you would add 100% plus 80 plus 100 plus 80 divided by four. And that would be 90, okay? So that's kind of the sense of what's going on. You're gonna take whatever that average is and you're gonna multiply it by 0.20 which is 20%, and then we're gonna call this homework, okay? You're gonna take the quizzes or the in-class exercises or whatever this is, let's say it's a quiz score, you're gonna take the average there as well, and now you're gonna multiply that by whatever this percentage is, which is 0 0.10, we'll call that Q for quizzes, okay? You would have exams, the exam average, 
And based off of your syllabus, you should be able to tell whether it is dropping the lowest score or not. And you're going to multiply that as a percentage, which is 0.45, and we'll call that E. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to actually erase the top here, because we know this is academic self-efficacy. I'm going to put the final exam a little bit high here so that you can see what's going on, because I really don't want to erase my beautiful table here. <laughs> Not that it's that beautiful, but you know, it gives you a sense of what we're doing at all times. All right. So the idea here is that you are going to do your final exam as well. And that's usually just a final exam score. Final exam score, whatever you got on the final exam. You're going to multiply that by 0.25, right? If you are getting, you, you want to find your final course grade, right? Your course grade in a percentage-based class is just going to be, oh, this one is squeaky too, is just going to be these letters added to one another, right? So your F plus your HW plus your Q plus your E, and that will tell you your percentage score, right? So if you get a course grade of 90%, then you either have an A, if it is a scale that has no minuses or plus, or an A minus. That's what that means, right? So you can calculate your grade at any time during the semester. If you are looking at finals and you want to figure out what your final exam grade needs to be in order to get the grade you want, then you're looking for F. And the way you do this is you basically say, okay, you solve for F in this equation. What is the course grade that I want? You know, and you would do maybe a 90% for an A if you have 10 point differences. So 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, so on and so forth. If I want an A, I would put in a 90% here because that's the lowest grade I can get to be able to get an A. And then I would subtract out my homework plus my Q plus my exam grade, right? And this is all added together, but it's all in parentheses. So you can subtract out each of these individually if you wanted to. And then you would divide by whatever the percentage that that final exam is worth. Okay? It's the same thing to be able to figure out what your grade is. What's my grade right now? then you would do the exact same kind of idea, except you're just adding HW plus Q plus E and dividing whatever their, their total number of points is worth. So in this case, it's worth 20%. Homework is worth 20%. Quizzes are worth 10%. Exams are worth 45%. If I add these together, then I would get 75%. So that means that out of this class, before the final exam, I can get a max of 75 points out of 100. So you can just divide by 0.75. And that'll tell you your grade as you're progressing through the class. The final exam would incorporate whatever you want your course grade to be, subtracting out these added together and dividing by whatever the final exam is worth. And the final course grade is just adding all of those percentages in terms of your calculations over here, having multiplied averages by percentages. And you add those together, and you would get a grade between 0 and 100 for the course grade. That's how you calculate a percentage-based grade, folks. OK. Point-based, same kind of deal, except often with point-based, what happens is the professor gives you a sense, sometimes gives you a better sense of what you're, you're not assumed to know 
what an A is, right? We know, we are assumed to know in a percent or percentage-based system that an A is somewhere between 90 and 100, generally, in percentage-based. In terms of Bs, Bs are usually between 80 and 89, right? Cs are between 70 and 79, Ds are between 60 and 69, and Fs are anything lower than 60, or really anything 59 or lower, anything lower than 60%, okay? That's the basic scale. Now, that can change based off of your particular instructor, they c but they will write that out in the syllabus. You guys, as we're students, probably don't recognize how much time professors tend to put into the syllabus to make sure everything is super clear before the course is started. So one of the, your big things to do is to make sure that you're reading that syllabus cover to cover, taking notes, and referring back to it throughout the semester to make sure that you know what's going on. When it's point-based, what will happen is they'll often say, based off of percentages, that if you get a certain number of points, then you have an A+. So for instance here, maybe they've made this scale such that if you get, a 900, if you get 950 points out of the 1050 points, then you get an A+. Okay? What's interesting here is that you, they're building in the wiggle room. So they're building in whatever they're going to drop. And it's just based off of whatever you get. In terms of calculating your grade, you just have to add your points together to find out how many points you have towards the total. Okay? If you were going to change this into a percentage-based moment, so that you could go back and calculate it the way that I just calculated everything. All that you would do is you would take the points for that particular section, divided by the total number of points, and multiply by 100%. Okay? So in this particular case, 200 out of 1050, right? Let's get a calculator. I'm going to use my phone, which is not the best calculator out there, but it is, it suffices. This is worth approximately 19%, right? So like the 20%, instead of multiplying by 0 0.20, you would be multiplying by 0.19, okay? And you could do that for all of these and figure out what the percentages are and then calculate it based off of a percentage score. And then that might be a little bit easier if you haven't gotten all of the homework grades that you might have, right? If you're nowhere near 200 then, or near, nowhere near 100, then it might be a little bit harder to see where you are in terms of the total. Okay. All right. That's how to calculate your grade. There are more intricate, intricate moments that you could do in terms of calculating your grade. Always ask your professor if you're really super confused, but really great calculations should be something you can do on your own based off of the syllabus. So it almost is better to ask a friend who knows how to calculate their grade, how to calculate your grade, than going to the professor and saying, I really don't understand that, particularly in a STEM class, guys. And here's the reason why. In terms of professors, we, we're happy to calculate your grade on an individual basis, but we really expect you to be able to do this. And if you can't even do this, then we sometimes think, how in the world are you going to be able to do all of the calculations required for our classes? It's not um, a real doc against you. We want you to learn it. We want you to know it. We care about you, but the problem is, is that it doesn't signal great things for being able to calculate the harder stuff in our classes. And so learn how to calculate your grade. Figure it out. Find out. Your college experience will be so much better for having done so. Until I see you next time, 